These are the talking points for my NPR interview tomorrow. I need to make sure that they're simple enough for the less educated in the audience to understand. <laughs> Howard, look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. Excuse me, I have a master's degree in engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It required the completion of 144 units of grad work and an original thesis. Yes. Look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. You know, when Sheldon gives you homework, you don't have to do it. In fact, it's better if you don't, otherwise it makes the rest of us look bad. Hey, guys. Hello. Yo, Raj, talk to me. <laughs> ah, sorry, just screwing with you. Hey, Howard, why haven't you called Bernadette? Did she say something? Yeah, she said she hasn't heard from you in a week. I thought you liked her. I do, yeah, but she wants a commitment, and I'm not sure she's my type. She agreed to go out with you for free. What more do you need? <laughs> Look, Bernadette is really nice. I just always thought when I finally settle down into a relationship, it would be with someone, you know, different. Different how? Well, that, you know, more like Megan Fox from Transformers. <laughs> or Katie Sackhoff from Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Are you high? You'd have a better shot with the three-breasted Martian hooker from Total Recall. OK, now you're just being unrealistic. Anyway, that movie was like 20 years ago. Imagine how saggy those things would be. Howard, you're going to throw away a great girl like Bernadette because you're holding out for some ridiculous fantasy? Hey, just because you settled doesn't mean I have to. Excuse me, I'm sitting here. Hey, I did not settle for Leonard. I mean, obviously, he isn't the kind of guy I usually go out with. You know, physically. Again, I'm right here. My point is, I do not judge a book by its cover. I am interested in the person underneath. I am here, right? You see me. interested in what's inside people, too, but you know, why is it wrong to want those insides wrapped up in, say, the delicious caramel that is Halle Berry? <laughs> yes, you're delicious caramel, too. <laughs> All right, you know what? I will tell you why it's Excuse wrong. Excuse me, it... may I interject? What? Biologically speaking, Howard is perfectly justified in seeking out the optimum mate for the propagation of his genetic line. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. And whether that propagation is in the interest of humanity is, of course, an entirely different question. <laughs> it all started with a big bang.